Welcome to the programming video of Maximum Demand Controller. This video will demonstrate easy methods of programming the Maximum Demand Controller of 6000 series from LNT Electrical and Automation. Now before we begin, some of the preliminary checkpoints that we would like to always know before we go ahead with the programming are First, the contract demand of the plant what are the CT and the PT ratings given to the meter? At what levels do we require tripping? And what is the demand period? In India, we have either 15 minute or a 30 minute demand period. For this particular video, we will take examples like we have PT ratio of 11 kV by 110, CT ratio of 2000 by 5, and while programming this in the internal part or the internal algorithm of the meter, we have ensured that full scale value that is root 3 of CT primary into PT primary divided by 1000. This is the maximum value at which the MD controller can be programmed. So the relay outputs can be set from 0.5% to 100% of full scale. So to enter into programming mode, press the up and enter button give the correct password so in this case by default from factory 415 is set as PT primary we will change this to 11 kV by selecting the appropriate digits always remember for the towards the end we'll have to select the decimal in such a manner that it shows 11.00 with a K indicator on next we move to PT secondary we will change this from 415 to 110 Next we have CT primary which we will change it to 2000 by 5 so 2000 we will feed in CT primary by choosing the appropriate decimal value without a K CT secondary is 5. Using VA selection method, so for vector harmonics, we will be able to see power factor as displacement power factor, and if we select arithmetic VA, then we will see power factor as a true power factor. We can program date, time, and year based on the requirements. We have demand type as sliding window or block method. So, depending upon the type of demand type in the EV meter we can select sliding method or block method demand parameter can be selected from any of these four so for our programming we will select VA demand parameter can be 15 or 30 minutes demand control we will use step demand demand slot now if multiple TODs are there we can program it accordingly. For our video, we have taken slot 1 as 000 and slot 2 as 2359. So, this will take care for the entire day's duration. So, demand slot 3, 4, 5, and 6 can be kept as it is. TOD 1 S1. Now, this is relay 1 that we would like to program it for 300 kVA. So, we will modify it to 300.0 while ensuring that the K indicator is on. Next we move to TOD 1 slot 2 for 350 kVA. Next we have TOD 1 S3 for 400 kVA and relay 4 will be for 450 kVA. So depending upon whatever is the threshold value kept in these railways, the moment running demand crosses this, the corresponding relay gets activated. Now since we are programmed only for TOD1 that is from 00 to 2359, the remaining TOD slots can be kept as it is since we have selected only one TOD slot from 00 to 2359. Next we move to the energy slots, so number of slots, we can put only one. 
that is from 00 to 2359 so if required we can have six energy slots or in our case we have selected only one slot so for energy values as for TOD we will select it from 00 to 2359 and from slot 3 to slot 6 there won't be any change we move to the end of the programming section where it will show an option for saving this as yes or no all changes will be effective only if you press the yes button so that's as far as the programming of md controller is concerned however there's one more thing that we need to remember that is syncing with eb meter so we enter into the programming mode and set the time exactly at the change of window block of eb meter now in this case we need to remember that at any point of time if we update any values of date time or year or demand period that is 15 or 30 minutes or the demand parameters like wattage va var or even the demand type as sliding of block window this will ensure that the start of the block window will get reset so on the screen you will see four parameters that will be continuously displayed one is running demand the second is maximum demand third is focus demand and next is additional load you can see maximum demand at what time and what date it, uh, it was the maximum we go into the programming mode enter the correct password we directly go to the timing area which we have to update for synchronization so right now it is say 412 we change it to 415 confirm this value and we go towards the end of the programming window where it asks for confirmation of yes or no we will wait till the time the EV meter will change from 414 to 415 and at that exact moment we press this yes button or the confirmatory yes to ensure that synchronization of timings are there between both these two meters so that's it just press the yes button over here at the time of exact time synchronization that will be required hope we have been able to demonstrate how easy it is to program the mg controller from lnt electrical and automation so thanks for watching